Hey guys. I'm hoping they probably did. The beginning of the live caught the um, annoying bit I got on my phone. So I'll go and edit that a bit later. It's a bit frustrating, but hey ho. I'm actually on time for a change. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Hi, Carol. How are you? I need to turn my fan back on. Try and warm my little tootsies. Hopefully it won't be too loud for you. Hi, Erica. Mine's pen has the wrong caps on. Right, I'm just going to crack on, really. Just get on with it straight away. Hi, Emily. Um, I need the reference picture up on my phone. That would be helpful. Hey, that's good news. Okay, reference is up on my phone. I'm going to plug it in just so I don't lose too much charge. Okay, so I'm going to start now with the wing and I'm just going to crack on. I'm just going to mark out with, what do I want to mark out with? I'll do it with the burnt umber. He's got, hang on, let's draw this out. He's got a dark bit there. Dark. There. So he's got some light bits here. I'm just putting it in a slightly different colour so when I go over it it'll be easy to blend out. In fact, I might as well just do that whole... Hi Rob! So I'm just using the um, raw umber, that's what we were using and I'm going to start, def I need to define the shape of his wing a bit more. So I need to bring in my grey. If you need me to change the camera angle, just let me know. Just moving the lights over a bit so you've got a bit of a better... this is actually too far up I think it's more here not that it really matters that much to be perfectly honest but I 
Thank you, Carol. Um, I'm trying to organise my website at the moment and it's... I was just trying to find the time to do everything and I'm hoping to get the pencil extenders up on there but I know that I was having a chat with Angela about trying to get some in her shop so um I like that one it's all glittery thank you it's getting there isn't he no, it's pretty much solid colour underneath here so I don't need to really worry I can go a bit firmer on the pencil touch on that. I want to try and get him finished today because I want to show you the bark. Just a really easy way to create uh, a type of bark. It's not suitable for everything, but... It's a good one if you don't have a reference and you just want it to look like some sort of wood effect, I suppose. I'm basically having trouble with my WordPress site at the moment and I've googled and googled and googled till the cows come home and I don't know what's going on with it and I don't have the patience all the time to deal with it to be honest um, so I've been looking at a third party host which I'm not particularly keen on doing but for the moment it's enough I just need something to see me through Um, so I've basically pretty much taken most of the stuff down that was on my website and just left it as more of a driver to the, um, the whatever it is I'm trying to say. Um, if there's any you want, Carol, let me know. You, you don't have to wait until they're in the shop. I can send, um, I can send a photo over. I'm pretty sure there's photos in the group somewhere. I'm just using my dark sepia. And that's just to add some of the grey toning that's in the shadows. I'm just blocking out his darkest of his... Basically where his feathers are crossing over. I don't like this bit. It's annoying me. I don't think it's got enough of a slant on it. I don't know if I can eradicate any. But it may be that this isn't defined enough. found my most snugglest jumper in my wardrobe I could today sitting in here I have I do have plans but none of these well some are short enough but there's loads in here that can still be used but this this little one for example I'm gonna there's gonna be things I'm doing with these so they're purposely I think that's the shortest one I've got so that's my little little pot of pencils but, um, yeah they they have a uh, future purpose once all the rest are short enough Right, it's going to build up as I can on this wing. It's going to take a little bit of time, as you know. And essentially, I've got to blur the edges out on this bottom because it's out of focus. Right, 
Right, it's going to do my share out. I haven't done that yet. Um, I had thought about it. Yeah, I probably will. Should have copied that. Damn it. Right, hang on. There. That saves me a job. Oh, my feet will just not warm up. Just um, doing the share out on my page. Oh, that heat's so nice. Um, yeah, share out on my page quickly. There we go. There we go. Right. No idea what that was. Okay. Oh. Ah. Didn't make it in time. Just lost my picture. There we go. Okay. So I'm still going to wash over with the raw rumba. Is my hand in the way a bit there? Shall I, let me move the camera angle slightly. If I lose you, don't panic. I'll do the usual change it as quick as I can I just want to change the angle so my hands not always in the way there we go um, I'm absolutely amazed those dogs have only just started barking there's been fireworks going off for the last probably 45 minutes I'm just blending over it with the ivory The lightest part of his feathers has very much an ivory tone to it. I'm just going to blend over the whole lot. Right, the last of the time lapse for Fridays will be up on Friday. Um, there is a time lapse going up on Monday, but I'll make sure that going forward a good 50% of the Fair Fridays, if not all of them, um, are done in real time. Hi. My pleasure, Rob. It'd be nice to finally meet you, Pam. I'll be somewhere looking frazzled and cold, probably. But my new cards arrived today and they look amazing they've printed so well i'm so happy with them i just wish i could have got more stock but it is what it is i'll sell what i have and uh pack up the pre-orders but they look really good right okay so We've got the lightest bit here, so we need to leave this as negative space. That's gone up slightly too far, so I need to fix that. Warm grey six, 
coconuts because the um, raw rumba has got a slight red tone to it so I'm just knocking that back I think that must be his other wing that we can see so that's his left wing that be his right wing just realized you're doing nothing but looking at the camera again aren't you let me move that a little bit it's not it's much lighter than what I'm drawing those in actually so I'm going to dull them down slightly but I need to still show that they're there probably won't translate very well down the camera what I'm doing but need to darken this all up because this isn't as light as it should be and of course we know that if it's not light enough it means that you haven't gone dark enough I'm alright, I'm a bit weird today if I'm honest. I've had a day where I've just been overwhelmed by everything. Um, quite a chilled morning, I purposely had a chilled morning because I knew you should see the state of my office. I literally have boxes, display units, my cards are all over the packing station where I sorted through them. I've put the gold on the nuts of the squirrels um fold the first three sets up um yeah it's it gets a bit chaotic when when hubby works the late shifts i think because everyone's so tired by the end of the week well see he's tired from working i'm tired from pretty much everything some random box falling down now um yeah I'm alright though. How are you guys in general? Yes, quite a difference, isn't it, really, from the, the subtle tones that you get on your pictures. I'm going to glaze very lightly over the top of the whole thing now. So 
something's irritating me on this bit I don't know why it's irritating me it's because this is wrong that's why tell you what I should do I don't ever post it in my patreon and I should post it in the patreon really why am I doing that I don't need to do that at all he's a little off to the side though isn't he let me move him oh dear patreon patreon there you are There we go. Oh, stretch of the back. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. I must admit, I'm quite liking the fact that um, I've only got one six by four left to do, and that's it. I've got no commissions for the rest of the year, so. Um, I'm quite looking forward to having a break. Oh no! That's the thing, isn't it? You have to judge whether or not it's worth... That wing's coming together now. Whether it's worth trying to rescue the car or just letting it go. Ideally, what I want is, let me see if I can zoom you in. What I want to do is get the detail of the wings going in. Because it needs to look like it's overlapping. So I'm going to do my initial dark lines going into the grey area. And then I'm going to get my slice tool. And then we're going to start scraping some of that back. Don't need to do a lot. Come on, feet warm up. I'm going to turn this off, rotate. Keep it on my feet. My circulation to my feet is useless. They're never ever warm. The only time you know I'm ill is when my feet are warm. Going with the warm grey three. Oh, fab. Oh, snapped it straight away. Just 
just using the warm grey three to blend and colour in those lighter areas because there's not although you can see a difference in the colour it's not because it's massively highlighted it's because you're seeing the difference between the grey and the brown that's it let me zoom out a bit so you can see what I mean Cold grey one. About a year ago, I made some thieves oil. A friend of mine, if you've if you've been my friend or you've followed me for some time, you know about my relationship with Noah Wall um, and his mum, who I've known them since before he was born, actually. Um, incredible boy absolutely incredible um and she was telling me about this fees oil that she buys and she puts it in like one of those steam burners because i think i've told you this before but the old wife's tale is is that uh in the time of the plague uh the robbers used to go and reach the poor as they were dying and they could never understand how they never became ill and apparently it's because of this feed soil which is made up of like 10 different types of oils um antimicrobial antibacterial um smelt nice and they used to soak a rag or um a bit of cloth with it and used to put it over their mouth so when they went into an infected household they never became ill so uh yeah uh, I made some last year and I made sure you have to be careful but I put some on the the girls clothing on the way as they went to school it's actually really nice for Amelie's sensory um, but it smells really really delicious but I have no idea if it actually works but it's supposed to stave off colds and things like that if you have it in the room or when you inhale it it's supposed to stop bacteria being able to pass the nostrils because of everything it's made up of so it's things like cloves cinnamon um lemon balm leaves there's eucalyptus uh, i can't remember all the other ingredients but anyway i went and bought all the ingredients and made it up and um yeah made quite a big batch and it's really nice so even if it doesn't do anything it smells really nice I'm going to leave the wing like that for the moment until, no I'm not, I'm going to go over it with the warm grey, I'm just going to blend over the whole lot. Okay, I'm going to get the warm grey, the camera, and I'm just simply going to zoom you in. And I'm going to use my pencil and push out. So start on the inside and push out. And just in tiny little circular or oval motions, just blend out the very edges of his wing. And we can even blend the edge of this as well. It's about up to here, I think it starts to get in focus. So you can then, um, ideally you want a white, but I've yet to find a white that's the same white as a paper. Let's use the poly white instead of the luminance. And then you can blend going from the paper in rather than it being the other way around. And just colour over that and that just lightens it a bit. And then it just gives you a bit of the illusion of it having that depth of feel, so it being out of focus. So I'm just going to strengthen now where I blend it over. But 
but I'm not going to give it any detail. I'm just putting the colour back in. So when you come to zoom out, it has a much softer edge. There we go. Okay. So we'd already done that yellowish part to his bottom. Let's just give him a good old coat of ivory, shall we? Okay, we are using the burnt umber. Right, I'm going to turn it off for a bit because although my feet are freezing, my legs are burning. I need one of those electric feet warmers or something. We were in Home Sense today and I was so hoping that my kid wouldn't see it because I was basically. Um, uh, Regina, if you're still watching, I can see the feeds, but can't. We'll see. Okay. Oh, don't don't worry about the pencil list. At some point, I really need to get my ass in gear and actually put the pencils in the description, which I will do later tonight. Um, you're not doing anything wrong. Some people struggle with the comments. Um, if you're on the device, maybe try it on the laptop much easier um ba, 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 ba. i forgot what i was saying now what was i saying oh yeah and they had i've got this and one i have got that on i've got this mermaid tail that my sister got me i think it was my sister it might be my mum anyway they had a really thick one down there but it was like 24 quid so yeah um and my daughter is obsessed and i really do mean obsessed with sloths it's the only thing really that she collects she she loves flamingos and if she does see them she goes a bit crazy for them but her obsession is is sloths she's got more sloths than anything else and anyway we went into home scent and i saw these beautiful little pair of um sloths but they were microwave ones and she gets a lot of feedback from the heat so quite often we have to heat up something for her to take to bed with her. And I thought, oh, these would be brilliant. I can put them in the uh, in the Santa sack for Christmas. And God, she went, I literally just, I went to the till to check something. And I thought, hubby can take them back to the car. And I'll go, oh, I've forgotten something. I'll go and get it and sneak them back in the house. No, nope. she, I think she had a sloth homing signal on because... I thought they were pretty well tucked away, but no, somehow she managed to find it. And I had her in blooming tears coming up to me going, Mum, I need these sloths. So, of course, being the sucker I am, ended up buying the blooming things. But I was so annoyed because it would have been a perfect Christmas present. So now I'm going to have to think of something else. just think she has this strange sloth homing signal I swear she does right one grey three he's pretty much all the way down to this edge I keep going over the photos keep you need to tell me off guys let me move and hopefully I won't keep moving the bit of paper microphone's probably too far away now so let's move that over a bit sorry guys probably really noisy 
one more there you go I'm not looking forward to doing the bird's feet if I'm perfectly honest how quick it is to Christmas it's not long at all is it oh we've got some exciting stuff coming from Stabilo and uh, next week um, so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you and I'm probably going to do an unboxing video for that and draw something with them when they arrive because they're, they are right up my street. I think, honestly, that's why she likes them. She's very much one that cheers for the underdog. If you're ever watching a film that's got a bad guy, she, she'll always feel sorry for the bad guy. I mean, her favourite Star Wars character is Kylo Ren. I don't do Star Wars. I probably shouldn't say that on a live feed, but I don't. Ah, happy birthday for three days. Shall we sing happy birthday? I'm not going to sing happy birthday, you'll all turn off, you'll all switch off and I'll be talking to myself. Right, I need to keep strokes quite short as we come around to this, as I'm not being overly, overly fussy with detail on this bird. But I just want to make sure I get a little bit of extra detailing down here and there. I'm just doing a bit of a crisscross because you can see... Not so much the feather detail, but you can see a bit of shadow here and there that indicates that the feathers are doing that, that crisscross thing that they do. Art or art supplies? We need to come in with the warm grey five now. Why have I written six there? It's not six, it's five. You need to um, come and find me, Carol, with regards to your one-to-one. -one. We'll get that booked in soon. Wonder why that could be, Erica. We know how sweet and innocent you are. That really does shock me. <laughs> Not... So much more blending to do on his tummy. Oh, 
why I think. Let's go over with the warm grey four. No, it is six. Donut. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing nowadays. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. We're at the ugly stage at the minute of this bird, I think. Especially the belly. Not the belly, the bum. The bum and the belly, both. Just this section in general. Still looks, it looks a bit better colour wise on the screen today. It's still not perfect, but. Nah. <laughs> Well, me and my husband have done our Christmas presents already to each other, so that's sorted at least. Haven't got to worry about that. He's had his and I've had mine, so that's kept that nice and simple. Means we can just concentrate on the girls having a good time. There's still quite a few shadow areas to block out, but as I say, it takes a little while to build up this belly area. Did you, did you not trust that there was one before? There definitely is. Okay, I know that from doing this bit, that his foot, this foot here, and actually I can see now that the distance isn't good enough. This foot actually needs to come back to here. So we can get rid of that. That shadow is basically where his foot's going up into his body. Yeah, we, it, we've already gifted it to each other. So we've had it early. Um, yeah, we're sad like that. the um the pre patches and the um, upgrade for warcraft came out world of warcraft came out um and every year we've always bought the expansion packs but i normally buy um the largest expansion pack because you get free pets and stuff with it but this time we both went for the middle one and we just got it for each other so uh sorted So you get a free mount and everything, which is always good. Right, I think I'm going to need to... Oh, yeah, you have three or two. No, you can't go far. What do you... 
just trying to see this is where ideally i want to bring in pablo's but i try my best for you guys to keep it in the polys because not many have both of the pencils so i try not to mix it up too much but this is where pablo's stand out because they have some of the more unusual colors which actually i find incredibly useful so this is brownish beige i think or reddish beige, beige brownish beige let's see if i can god that's so it's completely disappeared so i'm trying to see no i know it's brownish beige though because it's one of my favorite colors but it would have been perfect so again i would use it but for the guys who would come along and follow this tutorial it's not likely they're going to have that color and i know that there's no equivalent in the polychromos range or certainly nothing that's as close i think i'm just going to have to blend over with my cold gray I am putting a bit of pressure on there because we've got several layers down now and I need to get as much of that grey down as I can. So I'm just applying a little bit more pressure. I've purposely kept my pencil blunt for this as well because it can help, believe it or not. No, that's cold grey I need. Just blending over with cold grey one to get those lightest areas. And then I am going to come in with cold grey two, three. Because it still needs to be in the cold range, but it does need to be darker in that particular section. I'm not being neat and tidy. I just belly all the way out here actually, so I don't quite know why I've stopped in that zone. I just like when the colours blend together. I must sound so weird, but it's no, loads of people say it's relaxing. Is there much difference between Pablo and Luminance? Yes. Are the colours the same? I don't know because I've never owned a full set of Luminance. I've only owned a full set of Pablos. Um, yeah, that's a blooming good question, actually. I don't know. Um... Technically, and I'm, I'm not going to get into the science of it, and I have been tempted to message, but I know that there's been quite a lot going round. Every pencil has a content of wax and oil, and it's only the percentages of the wax or the oil that determine the waxiness of the pencil. For example, I think Luminance are 30% oil, and the Pablos are 10% oil, I think, don't quote. Um... I don't know what the percentage is in polys. Um, but everyone keeps calling them oils and wax. But actually, they're pretty much made the same thing. It's just the percentage rate that changes. But luminance, I, I don't think I could ever actually do a full portrait in luminance. I just find them too soft and then I can't lay it on top of them. Um, even if I use luminance in portraits, apart from blending with the titanium buff I even then try not to do that until the last few layers because I find them really hard to then go in with a Pablo or a Polly on top but I imagine if you were to go over and just do a whole portrait in luminance it wouldn't be too bad but I don't know I just I find them a bit too creamy for me to do a whole one but yeah it is just the percentage I think I can get away with making that bit under here no i don't want to use that i want to use my 
caput mortem. I don't want it getting red, I need it to get dark. And that's the way to do it. I think someone about two years ago, three years ago, because this whole argument was going around everywhere and somebody ended up emailing them and that was the answer that they gave. Yep, I either I either go well depending on what I need, sometimes it's not worth ordering online. We we actually have a local art shop that does sell um only cow and dash. They don't sell polychromos. They used to, but they're not as good as cow and dash, so they've stopped doing that. Um otherwise I'll get them from Angela. And um, by the way, I don't know if you know Patreons, but there is actually a special discount with Andrea if you're part of my Patreon group. Andrea, Angela. If you are part of my Patreon group, if you didn't know that, put a message up on Patreon, tag Angela in it and she will remind you, but there is actually um, normally something that goes on with Angela specifically from my group. So please don't forget that. <laughs> Um, yeah, Angela's, by the way, from Paper Story, if you don't already know. But Paper Story, Pencil Shop, my local art shop, uh, Cass Art Jackson's. Oh, this belly build-up is doing my head in, actually. It's taking far too long. <sighs> Just do it. It's just, I'm going to glaze over the whole lot with the dark sepia. It's not the dark sepia at all, actually, is it? No, it's the warm grey six. Basically, I'm being tentative and I'm not wanting to go too dark too quickly. I don't know whether it's my phone. I should look it up on the actual computer, really. I don't think it is my phone. Now I've lost the reference. No, I don't think it is. Okay. I, think I just need to put my big girl pants on. I need to get some shadowing up here. It is bloom, yeah, wax bloom. Uh, I wasn't looking at all when I coloured right off the page there. Um, Hobbycraft are really expensive, or they certainly are where I am. Really expensive, so bear that in mind. <sighs> yeah, you're going to learn about an erasing trick now, if you haven't seen it already. Right, it's a bit of scotch tape. Try not to do it with any other tape because it uh, will rip your paper. So scotch tape, I've put it over my jumper a little bit. I'm going to put it on the area I need to erase and I'm just going to rub over the error very gently and then I'm going to peel it up. Do it again. You might have to do it several times depending on how many layers you're trying to get rid of. And then you can go over it with your eraser again or the other option which I find quite handy is just tapping up and down with your blue tack because rubbing sometimes isn't the way to go because you can rub it more into the tooth. Oh, 
I think from Hull in town, Hobby Cart, it's £1.80. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember what it is in ours. I would have thought it'd be the same, but... Right, War Umber. No, Burnt Umber. No, Burnt Ochre. God, wake up. Burnt Ochre. I'm going to zoom you out a bit so we can see the overall effect so far. So we can see that he needs to go much, much darker at the back. So I'm going to glaze over the whole lot now with the burnt umber. Get it right this time. But because we've done all that work underneath, even just glazing over is still not going to get rid of all of that shadowing detail so we all we need to do is strengthen that when we come back day delivery from paper story oh honestly they've saved my bacon so many times i mean i have ordered from the pencil shop and they've been great too but i'll always go back to angela she's she's just been such a supporter of me and my work and my patreons and yeah she's lovely so uh i'll always support her where i can I must do a pencil order at some point. Okay, so we're just getting that shaping in now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look, rather than at my phone, I'm going to look at the reference photo that's next to the screen because... Oh, this is going to be a different way of drawing. I'm not looking at my drawing. I'm looking at the screen and where my pencil is on the screen next to it. And that is going to help me to make sure that from a distance, I'm getting the detail in the right place. Here, God. Oh, it's really weird not looking at your drawing. Uh, yeah, send send it through. A uh, human portrait, is it? Uh, send you a picture of a commission I will be working on soon of a person, yes. If you're concerned about shadows and haven't watched my polychromo skin tone video, it's worth watching because I mentioned shadow colours in there. Okay, I think we can afford... Oh, I'll get a neck ache staring up there. works though I think that could actually afford to be yellower down here what I might do is actually start working on his legs I think when I'm staring at his body too long, it's starting to 
get a bit lost. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, running out of coconut milk. Right, I'm now gonna blend on the light areas over with my ivory. Probably could have brought his chest out a bit more to be honest but hey like I said I'm not looking for perfection I'm looking for a happy Robin and that'll keep me happy Right, I'm going to stop fiddling with the body, as I say. I'm going to get on with the legs because it's doing my caboodling. Um, and sometimes you just need to walk away from doing certain parts. And I want to do the legs. The legs are probably going to be simpler than I think they are. What I need to do... So his legs are probably roughly the right length as they are. It's a very straight leg and I need to make sure so if we get the branch I haven't done his tail yet so his tail something like that His tail is pretty much like his underwing, so there's not really a huge amount to do on that. I don't suppose it matters how thick we do this branch either. Okay, I'm going to have my concentration face on now, so bear with me. All to the branch in a minute. I 
plenty of old feet. No, that's wrong. That needs to be angled like that. That one needs to be angled. Like that, I think. You can barely see his third toe. And then his back toe. Oh, it's really weird, that other foot. Oh, okay. Dear, sounds like you've all been poorly. Okay, so let's branch. It will look much rounder once you've got a, a um, pardon the pun, a bird's eye view. Because at the moment you're looking at it at an angle, so it's probably looking a little bit stranger than it would normally. So if we just get this tail done, because there's not a lot to do with that other than um, build up. I mean, I get nervous with doing people portraits even now. Um, especially in colour pencils. Um, because they're not the easiest things to do. Because colour, colours vary from person to person hugely. In fact, did you watch the live feed that I did when I drew redrew Amelie's picture? Because there's an awful lot in there with regards to shadows and the colours to use. It might be worth you actually going back and watching that because there's a a huge amount of information in there. I think we did it over three feeds altogether, or was it two? I can't remember now. I find it really weird his tail goes like that. Probably could do with slimming it up actually, but. Let's do it like that, and then that can be the fuzzy edge. <sighs> You'll be amazed how many greens and purples that you'll end up using in the shadows and greys for undertones and things. You can almost, I don't know whether you can see it in the reference on the monitor, but it's all, you can almost see the fold in the tail. So I want to make sure I get that. I feel like such a messy drawer right now, and I do feel like I'm rushing it a bit.
almost want that to be that dark. Just going in with the black to just form a shape underneath. I know you're barely going to see it, but it just helps with regard to the way that you can see the fold in the tail. Should have picked one with a much easier tail and wing to have done. Hey, what fun is it when it's easy? Cap at Morton. I almost want a ruler. It's legs that. Great. You feel the concentration vibes coming through the uh, coming through the camera. Okay, I'll have a look when I can. Pretty sure I boiled the kettle and made a coffee, and I have a feeling I've left. I have. I've left it in the kitchen. Oh well. To microwave that when I'm done. see what I'm doing Sorry, I'm aware I've gone really quiet. It's at little stages like this, you find it hard to concentrate and talk at the same time. It's quite a wonder, in all fairness, that I actually get out a sensible uh, Patreon tutorial. Nope, he's on lates all week. I'm just going straight in with the black because the reference picture is pretty much that. I'm not going to faff about with greys and this and that and the other. I just want to, I just want to get them down.
Go sharp ivory. Push a bit too hard there. in this side because this side's a bit of a mess. Just putting in a little bit of line here and there with the black. I'm not doing anything extensive. I'm just doing it while I have it in my hand really. Oh, headaches suck when you're trying to concentrate. Um, well, we find out Monday whether or not he's got a a different job. Um, if he has, it means he has very early morning, so it's not necessarily good from that point of view. But it does mean that it, there's no more lates for him. Uh, does potentially mean seven days a week but on the the saturday it's not such a long day so it's it's worth it even if he does it for a year really just he enjoys his job but it just doesn't pay well enough at the minute we're hoping that once he gets into the routine of um, the new job and things like that. Uh, you probably saw the notification in the um, art share group anyway that as of next year, I'm not going to take on any commissions apart from twice a year. Um, I don't think there'll be much time to do it. Yeah, see, that's my problem because... Um, He'll be gone at 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then, of course, I've got the kids for the school run, the dinner, the baths, the bedtimes, blah, blah, blah. So you don't you don't get any time at all. Um, so you try and get as much done during the day as you can. But then you're distracted because he's here during the day. So it's not actually as productive as it would be if you were just in the house on your own for the entire time. So I'm hoping, actually, that it will improve my productivity as well when he's out of the house so fingers crossed it did used to be a lot better actually when he was normal shifts i suppose you'd call it because although i still had to deal with the kids because he still didn't get home till eight o'clock in the evening um i had much more of a routine so i knew exactly what i was doing when but when you're on shift work you just don't know what you're doing half the time kids hate it because they have to go to bed early on a Wednesday when he's not here because I need to make sure they're in bed before I start the live feed so they get a bit miffed I'm not sure these feet are looking particularly feet-like.
very little like this sunday is the first day off he's had um since i think he had monday off um so we did what we could together on the monday but then the monday i'm like right okay we've got to go shopping we've got to do this we've got to do that while well, we've got no kids so even then it's not really quality time um how are the girls with you when they were on your own they honestly i i couldn't i can't really complain about their girls they are really pretty well behaved to be honest i do get a bit of back chat but that's normal for kids but in all honesty, I couldn't ask for better. Emily misses, misses Daddy when he's not at home. And she always wants to do stuff with him when he's finally home. So for them, it, it's going to be a really nice thing to have him back home. Because he'll be finishing semi-early... It means that, I don't know, come summer, we can just literally get in the car and go down the coast or something. Right, I'm pretty much going to leave the feet like that, I think, for the time being, until I've done the wood. Now, the wood, I'm just going to do the most basic of basic. Um, and I'm not going to deviate, really, from the colours that I've already been using. What I need to do is I need to lighten... I'm going to move you now because you don't need to be at such a strange angle. You really are at a strange angle. What's going on? That's better. Before I gave up my graphic design business, which I sort of haven't really, I still I still do it for certain customers. Um, but it's obviously much less now, but I don't know, I don't honestly know how I coped beforehand because I was doing the graphic design, the art, and obviously running the house and the kids. So I have no idea how I did it, to be perfectly honest. I'm not worried about any residue um, pencil lines on the inside of the branch, to be perfectly honest, because the, the not the muddy the effect, but those little imperfections actually work to your advantage. So I'm not gonna work from a reference picture here. And knowing me, because it always does, it ends up looking like a bit of a silk silver birch, I suppose. Okay, so that's an ivory base, which you can barely see. I am then going to go with, what am I going to bring in another colour? tempted do I want to bring that in I got my dark I have got my dark yeah okay I'm going to bring in new girl new girl nugget Nougat, nugget, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And I am just going to sweep over the whole lot and I'm not going to be neat in the way that I do it. So I'm going to be pretty unneat. Hopefully you can see that. You see that? And so I'm going to be fairly unneat and every now and then I'm just going to bring in a deep shadow like that 
and then I might put in a bit of a knot here and there I'm going backwards and forwards but I'm not worrying about being neat I'm not even worried if there's curves or dents or divots in the branch underneath because they're not going to be perfectly straight. Okay, I'm just going to pick certain spots. I'll do a big one in there, I think. Okay, so let's do a notch in here, I reckon. Big one. So I'm just drawing a bit of a, I don't know what you'd call that shape. Almost like a bit of a moon shape, I suppose. And I'm just being really rough. I'm going to do a wedgy thing. This is how technical I am being. Um, we need some shadow on the bottom. A little bit of shadow around his foot. Now, depending on where the light's hitting, the light can actually hit through his legs. So you don't always necessarily have or are going to have a reflection. Um, so don't panic too much if you are trying to get a shadow under there and you can't. It's not the end of the world. So it's already starting to take on a branch feel, shape, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to wisp over the bottom a little bit with the dark sepia. So at the moment I'm just glazing very lightly. Just on the bottom and then I'm going to strengthen a bit of shadow in here. his foot I guess you would get a bit of shadow in there from his nails claws not nails So when you then come back over with the nougat, you can blend that out a bit. To say, I'm just just showing you really a way of doing a quick branch. Should you not have a reference, this is just a really really simple version. I'm just going to glaze again over the bottom. If you want to put a little, I don't know, a little upright of some sort just to make it look like it's um, had a bit snapped off, then that's fine, up to you. Um, I'm going to grab my 
don't want dark sepia. What do I do with it? Burnt umber. Again, just build up that shadow that's underneath. Oh, that'd be nice. I'm going to start on my um, my Venom image to go with my Deadpool, so I can get them hung in, hung up in the bedroom next year. Right, I want to get a, a, bit, a bit more tone and I know I'm just going to take this off screen because I think this is probably going to work but no, not that one. Uh, where are you? So what have we got down so far? We got that, that, that. We got that. That might work. I'm being so lazy and I can't be bothered to go and get my other pencils. So I'm going to do a bit off camera and see if it's going to work. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, that's light flesh going in. And that's purely because I can't bother to go and get my pencils, which are over there. Because all I hold in here is what my regular used pencils are. And I'm just pretty much being lazy, to be perfectly honest. Um, but the light flesh at the moment is just going to add a bit of a hint of warmth to it. Rather than it being so cold at the moment. Which I know sounds stupid seeing as they're all warm browns, but I know what I mean. Just blending over the whole lot. Okay, so we need to get some shadowing. Whoops. Some detailing under here. So what you still need to be able to do now is define that foot. So the bottom of that foot needs to be darker. There we go. Wondering if I get a bit of a bit of shadowing just there. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I am. So soft. Blending it out with the light flesh. Yeah, I think that looks quite sweet actually. Amber. So 
What do we think, guys? Think it's working? then lighten some highlights or smooth some highlights out with the ivory. So generally I found when you have a dark line in the bark you'll have a highlight pretty much right next to it. Um, I'm not saying that's the case for every time but most of the time that I've drawn branches, that has been the case. So let's see if we can just from here, see if we can get you all the way. Oh, I'm spinning my entire camera around. So I don't know what he's standing on in there. I, I can't even remember if it was a proper branch. I don't think it was. I think it was like a top of a fence or something, but I wanted him on a branch. So I seem to have him leaning more upright, which I actually quite like, whereas the one in the reference is leaning a bit more forward. Um, the only thing I maybe would like to have done was made him a bit more bushier in the tummy here, in the chest. Um, and I might still do that. I'm quite happy with the branch. I don't think much more needs doing with that. I mean, all I'm going to do is now give him a little bit of feathering detail around his leg area. Because he's looking a bit rough and ready around the bottom. So I don't want anything too dark. Oh, the only thing that annoys me with this sharpener. My old Helix used to be able to fit my pencil blenders no pencil holders but the pointy doesn't and that really annoys me because the the helix used to fit this metal bit inside the grip so i used to be able to get them on there a lot a lot easier i right, am just going to do some odd there's a cat round by my feet a little bit of feather here just to give him a bit of character. He's very smooth on the bum at the moment. Just give him a bit of deep. I'm clearly pressing harder than I normally do on pencils today because that's a few I've snapped. What's the matter, Dee Dee? What's the matter? What? Come on in. Come on in. Come say hello. Dee Dee. Come on. Dee Dee. Come on in. Without digging your claws in, please. Come on then. You coming up? Come here. This is Dee Dee. This is the one you constantly hear meowing. She hates being picked up. She hates any affection unless it's on her terms. Don't you? It's not a real bird. It's a fake bird. Yes. It's because she's cold and my lap isn't there with the blanket on for her to sit on. So she gets proper grumpy. But if you pick her up, try and hold her, she hates it. Don't you? You're going to sit right there. What can you smell? I 
don't know if you can hear her down the microphone she's literally right next to the microphone bit of purring noise for you if you can hear that what you doing what you doing me eh? I like Dee Dee. I'm going to get the slice tool. And let's get some highlights going. Don't want to do too many. You can do that, by the way. Once you've sliced them out, if you don't want them quite as white, just give them a rub over with your finger and it just dulls it down. She is sat literally right in between the lamps. So, yeah, you do get a bit of heat off them. They're not too bad. That's supposed to be the good thing about them is that they don't um, overheat. now aren't I there so he's got a little bit more character around the bottom here what's this what's this you are desperate for a lap aren't you Don't go sniffing a blade, please, young lady. Okay, I am tempted to just bring, I don't know. Do we want to bring him round? What do you guys think? Do you think he's fine as he is? Or do you think we should try and make his belly a bit prouder? I'll give this one some attention while you're thinking about it and let me know. What you doing? Me? Oh, is that nice? If I give you an ear rub. Oh, that's her favourite thing is a little ear rub. I think he's fine as he is. And that's one vote for keeping him as he is. He's perfect. So you get that, Dee Dee? Perfect. Look, look at this look this this is the the ear cat she loves the ears she just spends hours just with the ears well i don't know about you then but i think he's done It's been nice not to have to draw exact to the reference for a change. And just enjoy it and play and have fun with it. So I've I've enjoyed that. I'll make sure I scan him in. And uh, I might put him up for print availability. Okay, Dee Dee, as much as I love you, sweetheart, you're in my way of my uh, beautiful little robin there. Come on. Come on. Well, I don't know what next, next live feed is going to be. Hey, you're right. Um, yeah, I don't know what the next live feed is going to be. Um, so if you've got any ideas, mention them in the group and we'll go from there i fancy doing something completely out there um or oh, are you up for i've got a new bremont watch i want to draw i could always do that on the live feed i don't know 
have a think about it if there's anything you want me to cover then let me know in the group and we can do a live feed around that um but yeah other than that guys have a good morning evening afternoon whichever it may be for you guys and i shall see you on the other side bye